Oh, I'm up. <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't ready. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to In the Lounge. It's been so long, I don't know what the hell to say. Can you just go ahead, please? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking this off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Welcome to In the Lounge. I am your co-host, Queen V, and I have with me the Kirk, the Quirk. <laughs> Come on, man. The Quirky. Yes, I am. And opposite of quiet, dude, they call Trey. What up, Trey? Queen V, what's the deal? What's going on? And I am quiet at times. When I'm asleep, I'm quiet. Nah. Can't fight that. You're not even, you're not even quiet when you're sleeping. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, uh, this this episode is this is gonna be a real good episode, man. We got a special guest. This is gonna be a real good episode. Uh, it's titled, you know, I always do the welcome to in the lounge. So let me just do that. Welcome to in the lounge with Dre and V. Money or sex? Choose one. And today we're gonna talk about. I'm, I keep saying women, but it's women and men. So I was gonna say we're gonna talk about women who. You know, talk about women, do they choose sex over a man with money or a man that has good sex compared to a man that has no money? But this could be guys, too, because I, uh, yeah. I know some guys who, you know, they, they mess around with some hood rats and they'll have those hood rats ain't got nothing going for them. But they got a big booty and that's what counts. But we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that get into that yet. Y'all know we got to do. Well, can we introduce our. Our, our guests, I do that, but don't I want to introduce. I want to introduce our guests now, so that they can, so that they can talk during my word on the street. This is my don't, my segment, your segment, and my show. Th- don't your, tell me how to do you, my segment. My rules. If, if you want to make it to twenty something years of marriage, you might want to chill out, y'all. Let's give a round of applause. No, no I'll do it. I'll do, I don't okay, know okay, how okay. you do it, I'll but say, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. Thank so look, you. we got a special guests in the building. We got my man, fifty grand. We got, I'm trying to think of some other words because the brother looks, he, he looks 20, but he a lot older than that. Give it up for my man, Ty. Ty, what's good? A.K.A. What's Tyrone. Tyrone in the house. I said Tyrone <laughs> in the house. Watch him out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ty, you ready to get this man, get this popping, man? You, hey, let's get busy. Uh, he got that Barry White joint, man. No, you know, no homo, but he got a nice sounding voice, man. Anyway, I don't, you know, well, anyway. All right, so look, before we get started, y'all know what it is. We got to do Queen V's word on the street. Queen V, take it away. It's the queen, y'all. It's the queen, y'all. Place your ear to your speaker and get ready for Queen V's word on the street. It's the queen, y'all. It's the queen, y'all. <laughs> word on the street is well first of all before I get to that can we just talk about Fergie for a minute the national anthem what the hell I- I'm sorry what I- 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 did-, did y'all hear it I heard it yeah it was it was it was kind of horrible I-, I don't I don't I'm, I'm confused what made her do that and the- and the crazy thing is she actually is a good singer she used to be <laughs> 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 she used to be to that for sure. I heard they got a Fergie challenge going on right now. Oh God, everything so that's challenge. gonna be that's gonna be hilarious. But word on the street is Tisha Campbell and Dwayne Martin, yeah, are getting divorced. Say it ain't so. They've been together for twenty seven years. What he do? I don't know what he did. Why well, gotta be what he do? I don't know. I'm just trying to get somebody mad who's listening. You I don't know. know. Every time I refer to the guy, they people get pissed off. Like, <laughs> like the women can't do nothing wrong. So what did he do? I don't know, but I, I gotta I gotta find out. I gotta, so, I gotta dig a little bit and you more. You know what's so funny? But that's, you always that shocked t- me. You always tell me I need to do my research. And you well, I don't have no much. I don't have too much more research. Okay. It just it just broke today. Okay, so so I don't have enough research to here's the thing. to share any more details. But I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna tell you why they broke up. I got a divorce. They're not divorced yet. They're about to. He cheated. Yeah, because I can't see anybody cheating with Tisha. 
Yeah. Well, what does that mean? You can't see anybody cheating with teacher. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> well, no, no. You're going to have to elaborate. I, I, I let you into my segment. You're going to have to elaborate. I, I what does that I, mean? I know you, you know, she's not the Tisha Campbell, you know, from the from the 90s. You know? What does that Dwayne mean? Dwayne still kind of look the same. You know, he's personality-wise, still got the looks. You know, he's out there making a few shows. You know, Tisha, you know, here and there. She just not, she don't have that look anymore. She don't have that Tisha Campbell look. So what you saying? She overweight? No, no, no. She, she's she, not overweight. She, she kind of big though. No, she's not. She's overweight. not a big. No, what do you mean she kind of big? I don't look. I don't think she's big. I, but society, the society norms would say that she's bigger. Her weave dresser. She just must have fired him a few years back. <laughs> 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 it's not working for. I her. cannot with you guys. Really? I'm just saying. I think she's gorgeous. She is. And I could see somebody wanting Tisha Campbell. She, has she a still got. Face. She still got it going on. I'm sorry. I, yo, I, I'm gonna bring a picture up. Uh, let me see if I she can bring something up. Face. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that she's she's bad. I'm just saying, you know, he probably tired after 27 years. I'd be tired too. Don't <laughs> don't get me started. Okay, yeah, 21. So you got like five more years to worry about that. Anywho, um. I, <laughs> That just threw me off. The Tisha ain't ain't cheatable. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm just going to use it anyway. Wow. Cheatable? Okay. All right. <laughs> New word. Right. Cheatable. And to me, she has aged more gracefully than he has. Put that in the Urban Dictionary. Cheatable. Cheatable. All right. <laughs> if you can just, somebody could just go online and look that up. <laughs> cheatable. Let me put this in the chat room. Oh, by the way, y'all, for the first time we chatting. I'm chatting and recording. Uh, but let me look. I had somebody look it up. Some I'll look it up as we talk uh, go through this session. But I sure would like to know what why he cheated on her. Let, uh, who said he cheated? Nobody hear. said this is how rumors get started. Nobody said he right, cheated. Let me stop they might just, I'd like to know what happened. They may just have decided to go their separate ways. I mean, that's a long time. And, you know, you outgrow people. you you know, you go into a different season and that person ain't growing at the same pace you're growing. Sometimes it's just best to the kids are probably about grown. It's about time to just say Cheatable. farewell. Cheatable. I don't know, but as soon as I find out more details, I'll 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 let I'll fill you in. Sounds good. All right. But so, I'm a little sad about that one. Me too. You'll be all right. <laughs> they ain't sad. He probably knocking some. And they're like best buds with Jada and Will. So what happens oh, now? That, that, who gets Jada is, and Will in the divorce? It there it who is. Who gets Jada and Will in the divorce? I just want to know. Who gets what? Who gets Jada and Will in the divorce? He found somebody with a better weave. I can't. <laughs> I can't put y'all in the, in the sleeve. Somebody who believe in him. <laughs> I can't. All right. All right. Moving so, on. All right, let's move on. So now let's get to the show. All right. So today's episode... Money or sex, choose one. We're going to talk about how you choose your your significant other, how women and men, let me make sure I say and men, choose their significant other. Um, would they rather have, if they had the choice, they had to choose one, would they choose money or would they choose the sex? Meaning, would they, if they, you know, if their significant other was good with, with the money, had enough money and bad sex, or if, he had good sex, and he was a broke ass motherfucker. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna talk about. So my first question, because you know I always have a list. Oh, okay? we know. I always it have would a not list. be a show without a list. What a hater! Because <laughs> just because you don't, you ain't together. Um, I, I'm I always together. I, I have a long, I have an outline for my show. Okay, don't hate on me because I'm organized and you looking for resources and you looking for you don't know why they got divorced and all that. See, I would have looked it up, but that's just me. It just broke first first question. Ago. First question. First question. I want to ask. Okay, <laughs> do you think people get more into relationships for the money or the sex? And I'm gonna let. Our guests answer that first. What do you think? You think people get involved with, you know, get more involved with a person for the money or the sex? I think initially most people get involved for the sex. Um, it has to be some kind of attraction, physical attraction and or sexual attraction. So that's first. Okay. I'm going to disagree. And you know why I would disagree? Because if I agree with you, we would have to go on to the next question. And I ain't <laughs> fucking trying to do that yet. I want to go into this. 
Now, I, no, I, no, honestly, I, I think I might agree, but there's a lot of chicas out there who it's all about the money. Now, I get it. M- women are making their own money these days, so they don't really need, um, you know, the, the money. The money ain't probably ain't no big deal. But here's the thing: there's a lot of women who say, you know, I make my own money. I don't need a guy for sex because I'll just plug this up and go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We did not need the visual. No, with the vibe. I'm just saying, we did not need the visual. We didn't need the visual. I'm just glad there's no video. You know what? I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put my on the line on on the uh, website. Weedallowance.com/slash38, and I'm gonna put my video up of me doing that. All right, so you can get a visual. Now, Queen V, answer the question. (laughs) Do you think people are into relationships primarily based on money or the sex? Answer. (sighs) Hurry up. Think about it. I I, I can't just choose love. No, here's the thing. That's a cop out. And I and and it look, no. There's some people, then there's some people that answer that question. It's like it's gotta be a balance of both. But that's not the question. The question is if you had to choose one or the other. So I'll say it like this. If I think about it from the from how Ty, you know, said, you know, you're attracted to someone's physical appearance usually first. Okay. Then I would have to say that because you don't know how much money that person is making. Although you can tell whether somebody broke or not. Okay. But what if you, you know, you get to know the person and, you know. And that's attractive. What's attractive? I'm just saying, like, if you got some bum shoes on. That's gonna turn me off. Okay. Yeah, you can't have Air Force Ones with the creases. <laughs> you have Air Force Ones that are <laughs> ones because the E just came off. But you know, like, like that's part of the attraction, I think. So. Okay. Um, but you know, there's folks walking around here with some fly shoes and they don't have no money. Yeah. Oh, that's, so that champagne budget. <laughs> I don't know that that on a Budweiser budget. Uh, <laughs> you might get bamboozled that way, but. I, I think I'd have to. I'm thinking more when you, once you get to know the person, not just so much like when you first meet. So that's like, a physical attraction on my first when I'm first meeting the person. Okay, it's physical. I don't right. know their personality. I don't know anything about them. But if we're gonna get into a long, serious relationship, that ain't gonna help me down the line. Okay, leads me to my next question. <laughs> oh, good. Ty, yes. comment. Yeah, go ahead. Go that ahead. Right there. Uh, that's like the eighty twenty rule. The person that you involved with. Um, long term possesses 80% of the quality you're looking for, however, lacking the other 20%. And so, a lot of times, you know, people of the opposite sex go out looking for that 20% in somebody else. And if you want a deeper oh, explanation of what he just said, you can go to episode 13. It allows with Dre episode 13, titled The 80 20 Rule. Okay, so if you want a little deeper, a little get deeper into that. Episode 13, we did the 80 20 rules, just so y'all know. See, we do it why, all in the lounge. That's when why you in the, name, wait, wait, wait. That's why your name comes first, because you always prepare. When you in the lounge, <laughs> when you in the lounge and you here in the lounge, you say what you want, you do what you want, you feel good. And I'm prepared. I'm always prepared when I'm in the lounge. Okay? This lounge turns into a man cave, it turns into a family room, but right now it's the lounge and I'm just chilling, <laughs> okay? So that leads me to my next question. Do you think a woman could be happy? What's your answer? What do you mean? What's your answer? That's not that's not that's not for me to answer. I'm I'm running the show. I'm <laughs> I'm asking the questions. But if you really want to know, I really want to know. If I had to choose money or sex, hmm. He he gonna choose money. Ah, uh, let me see. Hmm. Um, I would say. If I had to live with one, the money is, and the sex was bad, or well, the sex was good, and she broke as hell, I go with the money. I like I what I go with the money for two hundred, Alex. I get that money. You know why? Because you can pay for some sex. No, I mean just I'm. You know, I could just make stuff up. What? I could show her some things. You know. If she don't know what she's doing, I can show her some things. But if she ain't got it in her, she just ain't got it in. No. I, if she yes. ain't got it in I put it in her. I stuck it in her. Bang, 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 bang. Seriously. Some people ain't <laughs> built like that. Turn it around. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. Down. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna put that in here. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so done with you. Focus. I'm just playing devil's advocate, but yeah, look, I'll take the money, honestly, Alex. But look, I mean, I can't even put, look, okay. Hear me out. I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because you love money. No, 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 no. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. I do love money, but it ain't true. Here's the thing. All right. So I have somebody with money, right? I got a woman. She got a lot of money. Sex is bad, right? I could still have sex with her. Okay? Right? But not like you want to. Not like I want to, but I can still have it. Now, on the flip side, if the sex is good and she ain't got no money, I don't have any money. I I can't even get money because it's just not physically there. With the money, if I choose a woman with the money, she had the money physically there and the sex is physically there. You get both. Just just that one is bad. But if you go with the sex and she ain't got no money, you have the good sex, but there's no money there. So only one shows up. There's only one present when you go with the um the sex. You see what I'm saying? Am I confusing you all? You ain't confusing me at all. The sex will always be there. That's what I'm trying to say. But the money won't. You got to get that money. Well, when it comes to the sex, I mean, there's going to be a little money involved. It may not be the money that you want, but it's going to be some money there. I mean, you might have McDonald's money, Burger King money, 7-Eleven You might need money. to go get you a part-time job. Yeah. but A couple you know, part-time jobs. But you're going to be happy every night, though. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I mean, when you walk up in 7-Eleven, put on that apron, you're going to be happy. <laughs> You're going to be like, why are you smiling? You ain't even made it past the fries, man. You smiling like that. Oh, man. All right. So, all right. That, that was a good question. I got another question. It's kind of the same, but, you know, it's a little different. Do you think you think you could be happy with just one or the other? Y'all, y'all think y'all could be happy with just one or the other? No. Okay. Why? You just, you just gave the answer to this. You just said you gave me an answer. I know I gave you an answer. So what if you had to go with that? Uh, I quiet, mean, quiet. It's quiet in here. If it's not a long term term commitment, okay, I'm good. What if it's a long- I got my own money? What if it's a long term commitment? I ain't getting into no long term commitment with somebody that ain't that ain't financially responsible. Mm. So, okay, Ty, I feel like that. Um. If it's a short-term relationship, you know it really ain't going anywhere, then it's the sex. But if you're talking about 20 years, 30 years down the road, it definitely has to be the the money. You know, nobody wants to be, you know, in a relationship 20 years and, <laughs> and, and you can't take a vacation. <laughs> All, right. All right. And just like, just like looks, you know, your sexual ability can fade. For sure. So... I'm not trying to get no long term commitment for that. Viagra. But it can't be so whack at the beginning that could that mean it's just gonna get whacker from there. It doesn't matter. If you meet somebody and the sex is whack from the jump, it, it's no relationship whatsoever. Sex or money. I don't care if you got a lot of money. If it's just whack, it's just no it's no relationship. Well, okay. Well, some might some might choose to go with the money and then just cheat on the person, but no, 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 no. You can't hide that. So, well, yeah, that's true. Who's more likely to choose somebody for money or sex, a man or a woman? More likely to do it. A man. A man. Why do you say that? I agree, but I just want to know your perspective on that. I mean, men, you know, you got some men out here who are not really making it on their own. Okay. So they choose to find somebody or a woman who can finance their lifestyle that they're looking for. And with that being said, that, you know, a lot of men feel like they can go out here and they can buy another woman. You know, they can cheat and, you know, and, and wind a dime somebody else that they're attracted to off somebody else's dime. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that done. What about you? What do you think? So I'm confused. Were you asking about sex or money? Who's I was asking who, what, what is a female or a male more likely to just settle for going after somebody for one or the other? Like a woman would be like, maybe like, Neither one. I, I just want love, a balance, a little bit. But who's more likely to say, hell, I'll do it? So I think a man, um, I think a man would definitely just choose sex over money, especially mm. if he's well off, if he's if he's good. If he has a good career, he's making some money. I could see him choosing sex over money every time. I could. I could see him giving up a good relationship because 
the sex ain't right True. or cheating on that good relationship because the sex ain't there. True. Or that it might not be that the sex ain't good, but she may just have stopped giving him sex because he ain't stepping up to the plate and doing what he needs to do as a man. And I can see. So I definitely think on that aspect for the money, uh, that's a toss up. I mean, there's some, there's some, real, there's some gold diggers out here and there's plenty of women that will marry a man based on money no matter whether the sex is whack and he's a bad guy and personality wise, they don't care. Long as he got the money to financially take care of them. All right. Well, but they down. And yeah. I can say the same thing about a man. Cause some men are like that too. Some men are just, they just trifling too. There's a trend now though. You know, you got, you know, some older women, cougars who don't mind <laughs> financing a younger man. You that know, is and true. They're really financing sex, sugar mama. That's really what they are. Yeah, sugar mamas. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is true. I was looking at doing my research. Okay. <laughs> so I was doing some research, and they did a survey about uh, money or sex, and women. A lot of the women. I gotta put the um the survey with the source on the website. But a lot of the women were asked, I think it was 10 women that were asked money or sex. And they chose sex, six of them, because for these reasons. One, all of these women had gave um, different answers. They asked them why. And these were the top answers that they gave. One was stress relief. Okay, you're a woman. So let's. I'm going to be stressed if I ain't got no money. <laughs> The hell? Well, that's true. Well, that's what they gave. And the second one was uh, keep the connection alive. And okay, that was the second one. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. Sex makes one happy. That was the third one they so said. So does money. And get my bills paid on time. Money can't buy. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, sex is a form of communication. That is true. I so, truly believe that. Those were the top four answers of why. You agree with all of them? No, I don't. I gave my opinion about the two I don't agree with. Why? I mean, I understand that sex is a stress reliever, but it ain't going to relieve my stress that much if if my bills ain't paid on time. If I can't, like he said, if I can't go on vacation, if I can't do the things I want to do to have a, a whole life. You know what I mean? I get it. I get it. So let's go to. It ain't that much sex in the world. I mean, somebody got to go to work because he ain't got no job. When we having sex. Okay, here's the thing. Let me let me just go. <laughs> just saying. All right, look. Oh. I'll be too damn tired to have sex because I'm, I'm working <laughs> this 50, is... 60 hours a week. Take care I... of your ass. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, man? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I don't know look. why I'm looking at you because my mic is facing you and you told me not to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing is for sure. Sex or money can't buy you love, so. That's true. Okay. That's true. I, I can, I can sex dig that. does not mean love. Nope. I can dig it. Let me tell you what I read. Watch this. I, I want you to hear this. This is a quote from a guy in a, um, it was in a forum about money, sex, and love. Let love reign. And wait, it says, let love reign and all things will be added. Jesus came to show Show us love by sharing, caring, and even dying for us. So when you apply love, money and sex will follow. My question is, do you agree? Do you need me to read it again? I, 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 got, a little, I got a little lost. Okay. So just repeat that one more time. The last time you asked me to repeat something, you went off on the dude. You're not going to go off on me. <laughs> Episode four. I'm All men are dogs. I'm he not said gonna go you off. blame it on the women, and you said, you, you, "Let me play the clip." You know what? Everybody, that's what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play that clip right now. Here we go. Oh let's God. let's listen to that clip right now. Listen to this, Ty. All right, we're gonna take one more call. My question is: Where's the accountability on the part of the woman? We know that we have some fellas out here that are dogs, but the accountability of a woman has to be part of the consideration as far as watch. Type of Did you hear that? Repeat the question. I'll play the call again. My question is, where's the accountability on the part of the woman? We know that we have some fellas out here that are dogs, but the accountability of a woman has to be part of consideration as far as watch being these type of gentlemen. Did he say what is the accountability on a woman? 
he's, for a man that's a dog. Yeah, like no damn accountability. You a grown ass man. If you don't know, if you gonna get into a committed relationship and you choose to do something that's that was not acceptable in the relationship, why the hell should I be holding your ass accountable? Get out of here. No, 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 no. caller. All right, so look. That's why I, it's hard for me to repeat the question because <laughs> the last time she asked me to repeat the question, she went off on somebody. So I'm not gonna go. I, I, I'll read it again. It was. It was. It was. It was when you threw the word Jesus in there, it threw me off. So okay. I stopped. I stopped focusing because I was like, Oh my lord. <laughs> so the guy, you heard her. So I'm gonna say it again. But look out if she get upset. You just duck under that um seat. All right. So the Whatever. guy said, "Let love reign, and all things will be added." Jesus came to us showing us love by sharing, caring, and even dying for us. So when you apply love, money and sex will come. Do you agree with that? That's some bull sugar honey iced tea. No, I don't agree with that. I mean, love does not come before sex. Sex obviously comes before love 90% of the time in relationships. Well, well, hmm. (laughs) I disagree with that. Mm. Which part? Sex comes before love. Okay. And that's, I can only speak for me. Okay. That ain't true. Okay. Love, for me, love came first. Then came, oh, sorry. Yeah, I got the beat. I can't can't look around. I'm sorry. Love came (laughs) first. First, Then the the sex came. First comes love. Then comes, well, people love me when they first meet me anyway, so I can see why you <laughs> fell in love with me. I'm not even going to tell you. Well, actually, I couldn't stand you at first. Let's get I'm that straight. I'm not going to go in that story. But, mo- but most people hook up sexually first, and then all the other things fall into place. You know, they find out so, whether they're compatible with that person, you know. I get that part for some, for some. I mean, for, for some folks, it's still the old-fashioned. Traditional. Traditional thing. Yeah, okay. All so right. based on that, I can see how love would come first. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my Jesus. I do. But that, what that, what that got to <laughs> do with out. that? Ain't got nothing to do with good sex and money. <laughs> I'm sorry that 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 confused me. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Cause uh, you already, you already, you know, yeah, pegged some, me as a as an angry black woman. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. But that don't make no sense. There's some people out here that's not grounded in Jesus that got good sex. I'm just saying, <laughs> and plenty of money. Yeah, All and right. some love. So look, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the chat room with they left it. They left this on Facebook, so I can read it from here. But this is also in the chat room. I'm not gonna say the person's name, but he says. His response to the question, sex and money, he says, sex, because women nowadays make their own money. And then, wait, hold on, wait a minute, all right. <laughs> all right, hold on, here he goes. He says, he, he's, I said sex and money, he says, sex, because women nowadays make their own money and then give it to me after I drop that wood. Now, it, it don't seem that funny, but it's... I know the person who said it, so that's what makes it funny. And I can't say his name because at first he took that part off because, you know, he didn't want people to see it. But I'm not going to say his name, but it was funny to me because I know this person. And for him to say that, he threw me off guard. (laughs) He really did. Let me see what else somebody said. They said, um, uh, okay, somebody said, I think they need both. But you gotta get, you gotta pick one. So when that person did pick one, he said, um, he said he going with, uh, ooh, wait a minute. Let me see what he said. All right. He said sex. I, I think, think he that's said, the cons- I think, I think he said sex. I think a lot of people are saying that. I, I mean, you have to look at it this way too. I mean, most of us, I mean, depending on who you, who you hooking up with, right? Mm-hmm. They, they probably got their own career their own money so is money that important when you got your own career you're making a decent salary they got their own career they're making a decent salary is money really a, a huge factor you know it's it's a no-brainer for somebody who got money I, I was thinking more towards people who um where there's a balance like you don't have a lot of money but you don't have 
a small amount of money. I mean, like you just right. kind of on that cuff, that that even. You know, cuff. you might be, you know, working a, a blue collar, um, you know, blue collar job. Right. You know what I mean? And and you make ends meet barely, but you know, there's not a whole lot of room for you know extras like vacations and extras like your, you know, your lady getting the latest purse or something like right. that. So. But they probably treat you good. They oh, probably yeah, treat you good. Yeah. Not only are they laying it down good, but they treating you well. I take that over money any day. All right. Mm-hmm. Well. Especially I, if I got enough to support myself. I'm going to get final thoughts. Ty, you want to say something before well, we do final in my thoughts? Younger, in my younger day, I would have <laughs> definitely chose sex for <laughs> show. But now, you know, being older, got to be the money. All I right. need to go on vacation. Got to get out of the country. Got to have my passport stamp. Hey, I hear you, brother. So, final thoughts. Queen V, do you want to do your final thought first? Um, Would you like for me to do my final thought first? I would like for you to do your final thought and then allow me and Ty to do our final thoughts. I'm not going to bother him. History lesson. Quick history lesson. lesson. She always interrupts me when I do my final thought, but go ahead. So, and fi- it's, my and fi- it's, not, it's a final thought, not a eulogy. Okay, so uh, you can go first. No, no, no. Go ahead. I don't like you right now. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> I wrote my final thought down. I have it ready. I'm sure you do, Mr. A plus student. <laughs> Did you bring the teacher an apple every day? Whatever. So anyway, um, my final thoughts are: it, it really depends. I mean, I want it all. Can I have it all? No. Well, it's just it's your final thought, so you can do what you want to do. So I want I want it all. I want a man that's respectable. I want a man that's a gentleman in the streets, but a freak in the bed. And I need him to have some, I need him to be able to support me. You set for life. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I, I want it all. Okay. And I think every girl deserves it all. Okay. All right. Ty, final thoughts. Oh, final thought. Uh, you know, when you're young and you, you know, you, you're out there and you're going to the laundromat and you got coins and y'all have great sex, but y'all got to get y'all laundry done. That's great when you're young. But when you're 30 and you're 40, that's not so great. Um, so, you know, just take that in consideration and, you know, just, hey, live, the, live your best life. All right. I agree. All right. So I'm going to give my final thoughts. Hey, you know, they a little quick. I got a little thing over here. But so, yeah, my final thoughts. Don't choose sex or the money. Choose somebody who makes you better. Choose somebody who respects you. Choose somebody you can grow with. Choose somebody who supports you. And choose somebody who is like you and like-minded like you and pulls you up when you're down. That's my final thought. That was beautiful. And I'm about to drop the mic. <laughs> it was, it was beautiful. Drop the mic. So there you have it. Our final thoughts. And y'all know what it is right now. You practiced that? Did you practice that? I did not. <laughs> you got a screw. It came, it came easy because I was looking dead at you. Oh, oh. Whatever. Pat you know, myself on you, the back. You, you already know you ain't got to do all of that. As soon as he's but gone. I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to leave the room. Right now. <laughs> hey, look. So look now. Here we go. Let me, you all know what it is, right? You know what it's time for. Now it's time for Stu Nod of the Week, okay? And y'all know what it is. Stu Nod of the Week is that stupid person that's the, that does stupid things all a stupid time. All right, so this week's Stu Nod of the Week is Tim Elder. Tim Elder of the Unification Sanctuary Church. He's the director of World Ministries. And let me tell you what this Bama did. This fool, and I'm going to read it to you because I, I, this explains it very well. A Pennsylvania-based offshoot of the Unification Church is encouraged by couples to bring their AR-15 rifles with them to a commitment ceremony in the Pocono Mountains, a half mile from an elementary school. World Peace and Unification Sanctuary in Newfoundland, Pennsylvania, said it planned on February 28th, if any of you fools want to go, and you'll be on my next show, being student out of the week. It's a ceremony, <laughs> okay? And they want, basically, they want to um, 
bring their AR-15s and just shoot them up as part of a ceremony. Shoot up who? Just shoot. shoot. Why? It says here, okay, because I'll read this part. They can explain it better. Tim Elder of the Unification Sanctuary Director of World Ministry said Tuesday, the church believes that the AR-15 symbolizes the, quote, rod of iron, unquote, mentioned in the Bible, in the Bible's Apocalypse Book of Revelations. And for that, Tim, you are stewing out of the week, you dumb ass. That's what you are. Yeah, that one's crazy. You, it, that was the. St- I, I, I confused myself reading all of that. I, you confused the hell out of me, Tim. And I know you don't listen to this but there's podcast. There's a lot of people that are going to support his reasoning. That, that's fine. And are going to be there with their AR 15. And if I. And, shoot and you them know up. what? Crazy. If anybody. In the name of Jesus. If anybody knows anybody out there, give me their names <laughs> and I will put them on the next show. Student out of the week too. Yeah, and, but also in Revelations, I mean, I think Revelation is um, predicts some pretty grim stuff. So yeah, you know, by him supporting um, guns at church, I mean, mm, not sending a good message, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. All right, so y'all know what it is right now. Queen V's words of wisdom. Queen V, you ready for this? I guess. I mean, all of them. This, you know, choose this I, and choose that. I that say, you did. I mean, you dropped the gem. I mean, you I just might you as well do words of wisdom. I Can I just repeat what you just said? I think you should do your words of wisdom freestyle. You don't need just go say what your heart feels. You should go grab your paper again. I got a quote. Okay. We waste time looking for the perfect lover instead of creating the perfect love. That's it? I, that's fine if that's it. Is I, that... I mean, that's my quote, but what do you think about my quote? I can keep going. It, it you was, want me to keep going? No, no, it no, no. Beautiful. I like it. It, 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 it was a small amount of words, but you said a, it was a lot said. It was a small amount of words, but a lot was said. All right, all right, all right. For real, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. So I thought that was it. That was good. Go ahead. <laughs> we waste time looking for the perfect lover instead of creating the perfect love. Sex, just like looks, will fade over time. You need some substance to sustain a lifelong relationship. Now. If marriage and lifelong commitment aren't your thing, then hey, good sex over money might not be a bad deal. All right. And there you have it. Queen V's words of wisdom. Queen V, you did it again. (laughs) Did it again. Ty, my brother. Thank you for coming on the show, man, and being the guest, man. I appreciate you having me. Man, I enjoyed it very much, brother. Enjoyed it very much. Got to have you on another one, too, man. So that'll do it for this episode of In the Lounge with Dre and V. Thank you so much. If you missed any episodes, you can go to weinthelounge.com slash episodes, and you will be able to listen and view uh, any of the episodes that you missed. Again, Thank you for tuning in. We are out of here. Peace. 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 We out.